greetings! I'm not saying that this entire Greek escapade was purely to taste the delicious Greek food, but it certainly helped. Welcome back to the Kavala escapade. Clockwork Wolf and Company and myself playing at the Cosmopolis Festival. It was a multi-day affair and we did lots of really cool things revolving mainly around food, but also I got up and I jammed with some super talented, amazing people who really the planet needs to know about. One of them was Jim Politis. This is the Greek way. You want the Greek way or the normal way? I want... <laughs> Teach me the Greek way. Uh, otherwise known as... Wait, we should introduce you. This is Dimitris. So yeah, I got up and played with the Jim Politis Jazz Trio. It's the first time I've ever played with a contrabass. Super cool, big double bass, played with a bow. Uh, amazing musicians, really talented. Uh, and just the sense of feel and musicality, man, it's just mind blowing coming from a rock and metal background to even put my toes in the jazz world. I don't think I did very well, but it was lots of fun and I learned a lot. <laughs> the Cosmopolis Guitar Festival. There were a whole bunch of really cool sort of historical guitars on display. You can see some of them here. And there were a bunch of really awesome luthiers uh, showing off their wares in one of the back rooms. One of them really took my attention away because they were making classic uh, shapes and guitars that, that we all know about, but really, really attention to detail, incredible tones, and the feel was out of this planet. Can we have a picture with you? Yeah, yeah, sure. We got back quite late from playing jazz and chilling out, having some beers at one of the local tavernas. And Nick, who was quickly becoming my Greek brother, um, said, yeah, we've got steak on the menu. Would you like one? We were like, yeah, sure, why not? It's only midnight. And so he bought out this tomahawk that was without any kind of exaggeration, bravado. It was literally about this big. You don't know how big my head is, do you? It was really big. Guys, let's do it. Bon appetit. <laughs> I'm fucking Look at the time. Man. Something like Look at the time. Exactly. Don't look at the time. Yeah, yeah, snack, snack. Jesus. Nick, is this the biggest steak you've ever cooked? <laughs> <laughs> I made it more. By the way, viewers, it's Greece. midnight. <laughs> Meet and Greek. <laughs> he came up with it. After it had fed almost everybody in the band, um, one of our friends, Kostas, who helped to organize the festival, turned up and he wanted to eat the remains, but they needed to be blowtorched <laughs> to bring them back to, you know, life. Probably a skilled surgeon could have revived that animal, but I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, now I kill it. Does this hurt the animal? This was really one of the harder interviews I have ever done on radio, and it was primarily because of the, the translation issues. I had to kind of say something and format it in a way that was easy for our translator to explain to the radio people who would then tell the people on air. The lobby has to translate. No problem. This is our translator. Which is the first song that we are going to play? I think the best one would be to play Living in the Sunshine. You live in Malta. I am English and Maltese. I live in Malta. We can learn some words in the... Without getting cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> Do you make also... Uh, I own a guitar guitars? company, yes. Ah, he owns a guitar company. As a manufacturer? Yes. yes. Okay. We sell globally. Globally? Yes. Because it's a sphere. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pen yeah, Penelope yeah. told me about Chipra. Chipra yeah. Yes, yes. And that made me afraid. Today. Because she said it's like <laughs> yeah. Uzo, but without the sweet flavour. And Uzo was already Don't enough. be afraid, you're <laughs> not gonna pay. Well, I was born in London and then immediately moved to Holland, where I grew up as a child. 
Holland. Now, the lineup is new, entirely Maltese, all European, all Schengen, so touring for us is, is much easier. Michael is asking at, the, at this time you are like a, a, a frontman for three bands? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I will deliver things in shorter sentences. I'm sorry, Penelope. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Clockwork Wolf and Company is, is my main focus. Um, but I'm also in a, in a band with Gus G um, and Felipe Dandroli from Angra. It's a metal band called Criterion. Criterion. You know, Eurovision is, um, how can I say, on a very superficial level. I don't think it's the healthiest music thing in world. Yeah. Let's say that, you know. You want to talk? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is the exact, the exact translation of, your, of the title of the band? How, oh. how did you inspire it? <clears throat> okay, that's a really good question. I'll try and make this easy for you to translate. So the band name is Clockwork, Wolf and Company. And it is an analogy. It's an analogy for how I write music. Okay. If you imagine a, a, a clockwork toy, wolf, you wind it up mm -hmm. and then it goes. So for me, when I write music, or, or I collect anger and sadness, and then it comes out and I write music. So it's like you wind me up and then I, I go. Uh, we're a live band, yeah. but we, we improvise, we jam, we, we, we want to make mistakes, you know, we want to be on the edge of comfort. We don't want to have everything perfectly 110%. Yeah, no, that's boring. So we want to be real. Risk. Risk, yes, yeah. that's right, yeah. One million people in YouTube or 10,000 in a stage? Uh, 10,000 on the stage, man. Yes, but, yes, but man, I love you. 10,000 on a stage, and filming million. you and putting it on YouTube. <laughs> Being a Greek festival, as you can probably imagine, and as a guitar festival, Gus G was there. Gus is super, super good bro. We're in a band together. He was there with the Gus G band playing some insane, articulate shred. If you've never seen Gus play, go and watch him and then take a break from your life and, and rehabilitate and then come back and start playing again. <laughs> he is probably one of, if not the cleanest guitar players I've ever seen in my life. It continually blows me away and annoys me. Anyway, he invited me up on stage to have a jam. It was really cool. Loved every second of it, despite the fact that unfortunately we, we they, someone had forgotten to, I didn't have any fold back on stage because they were all wearing in-ears. There were no wedges. So all I could hear was myself. And I was looking at Gus going, what, what chord is he playing? What key is he in? And then trying to reply to his little lick and then look at him. So if I look a bit weird like this, that's the reason I look weird. <laughs> and afterwards, Gus even said, man, I realized you couldn't hear anything. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> but you know, always up for a challenge. Some of the things that you learn from, from thousands of hours playing, you know, little gigs on the road, circuit venue type stuff is crazy. And Zaya uh, blew our minds with this cool trick that he learned from playing loads and loads of gigs, uh, a way of amplifying his bass with no amplifier in his hotel room.
Zaya has just come up with this, I've got to say it's a genius move. He's turning the room into an amplifier. So we're just rehearsing quickly, acoustically, air drums, guitar, guitar, no amps. Check this out. Yeah. Now, now, now Zaya's resting the bridge on the wall. Listen to this. That's amazing. <laughs> Rob's got a drum kit. That's done. So it's the day of our gig and before we head off, it's time to eat again. Obviously, food is everywhere in Greece and it's absolutely insane, especially from Nick, who is a master chef, the snail master. We had a spicy sausage, Greek salad, although in Greece they don't call it Greek salad, they call it salad with feta. <laughs> Place makes the best food. <laughs> we got ready for our gig, had the rehearsal in the hotel room, walked part of the way towards the lighthouse stage and got ourselves ready. Okay, we're all packed up on the way to the venue, doing a little sound check. Carrying our homes on our backs like little musical snails. We just got to walk up a massive hill to the lighthouse now, having spent the last week power napping during the day and eating food. <laughs> Have you ever seen a stage like this before? Um, I was plugged in for the first time in my life to a JCM 900. I'd never played one before. I was really impressed. I mean, it's very similar to an 800, slightly more saturation on the game, had the effects loop and everything that I needed. It's like something out of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I mean, Luke, not the scenery. So that was good. We got our sounds together and then disaster struck. <laughs> Things that you don't think are gonna happen. We're literally about Almost finished the sound check and it started raining and now we're in a, a computer yeah. classroom from the from the eighties. Look at the power of this tower. <laughs> <laughs> when Tony was like for <laughs> We need to pray to Zeus that this goes away. To be fair, this was some of the most fun you could ever have. It's true. Lala, on paint. That's yeah. Paint man. Wow. yeah, it's amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah, to hell, with it, to hell with the gig. Draw a wolf. Come on, Rob, the whole of the internet is rooting for you. You copied the emoji for wolf. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> it's raining, guys. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know how to say this, but basically, gig was off. We, we literally were the only band to be rained off of the stage. Everything was completely soaked. We just, I mean, Zaya just saw it rolling in um, to the peninsula we were on where this lighthouse was. <clears throat> we shouted to the crew, we covered as much as we could, but it was just drenched. And they said, listen, we'd love you to play, but it's not safe. We've made the decision that you shouldn't play. Um, so the bad news was we didn't play the gig obviously we were super disappointed I mean we'd been there a whole week practically preparing for this gig and I got up and played jazz and with Gus and with the with the prize and done sorts of bits but the guys had just been eating and relaxing horrible job obviously um but Costas and the other organizers super kindly said don't worry just come back so we're going to go back and we're going to play a couple of gigs rather than just one. I think Gus is going to help us organise a gig somewhere in Thessaloniki. And Kostas will help us play in Kavala. So we'll be back and we'll hopefully be inside a venue with a roof and no problem if it rains. Anyway, have an amazing day. Wherever you are, whatever you are, take it easy. Chippity chappers. Left-handed salute out. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the- Let's get us alive Very good, we're going to get out of here, we're going to get out of here